Is it okay to get angry? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. A monk who had a quick temper was known to pass the buck for his fits of anger, always blaming his fellow monastery residents. So he decided to move to a place of absolute solitude in the desert, thinking that if he got away from the others, he could be victorious. One morning, he accidentally knocked over a pitcher of water. A few minutes later, he bumped it again, and once more it fell on its side and spilled its contents. Losing his temper, the monk picked up the pitcher and hurled it to the ground. As it broke into smithereens, the truth hit him. He couldn't blame others for his flare-ups. The real trouble was within him. In today's Gospel, when Jesus saw the temple of Jerusalem jam-packed with money changers and traders selling their wares, he was filled with righteous anger. The temple was supposed to be a house of prayer and yet became a den of thieves. The chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees in turn were filled with unrighteous anger and this further fueled their hatred towards Jesus that led to his death. Anger in itself is not sinful. It is like nitroglycerin. In paste form, it is dynamite, but in small amounts, it can help stabilize patients' hearts. Nuclear energy can be harnessed for good purposes, such as in the medical field. Similarly, righteous anger can lead us to fight against ills plaguing us in societies such as abortion, artificial contraception, same-sex marriage, not homosexuality, divorce, sexual promiscuity, death penalty, and the like. We ask ourselves, are we ever concerned about whether or not our anger is based on God's will? We can certainly get angry over the wrong things. We get angry when someone inserts himself in a long line we have been in for hours. We get angry when someone cuts us on a busy street, almost sideswiping our car. We get angry when someone we lent to does not pay on time. We get angry when our small kids become too noisy while we try to finish urgent paperwork at home. We get angry at our spouses when our expectations are not met. We get angry when we are hungry or just tired. We can even get angry when a priest goes about his sermon in roundabout fashion and takes him a long time before he can land into his conclusion. We get angry at silly things. Is our anger based on God's will? In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus compared the punishment for anger with the judgment facing murderers. And in Matthew, I quote, You have heard that people were told in the past, Do not commit murder. Anyone who does will be brought to trial. But now I tell you, if you are angry with your brother, you will be brought to trial. If you call your brother you good for nothing, you will be brought before the council. And if you call your brother a worthless fool, you will be in danger of going into the fire of hell. Closed quote. Lalaine Bennett, who co-authored with her husband Art the book The Temperament God Gave Your Spouse and The Temperament God Gave You, writes this, Anger may reveal a bad habit or a character. I am angry because I didn't get my way. Excessive anger, like screaming at a small child for spilling his milk, or inappropriate anger, like kicking the dog because I am angry with my boss at work, is wrong. Sometimes anger masks a deep-seated emotional wound, like I become enraged when my boss criticizes me because it triggers feelings of being unloved as a child. Instead of being the sword that fights great moral battles for God, anger can be turned selfishly inward. It can become the weapon that drives loved ones apart and kills the very life of grace in our souls. Being perpetually angry or resentful or being revengeful is different from an outburst of anger. Feelings of ongoing resentment and anger are often the result of past emotional wounds. If I have low self-esteem or an unresolved hurt from the past and someone makes a critical comment, I might respond in anger to mask my feelings of unworthiness. Responding angrily gives me a temporary feeling of being in control and temporarily relieves my anxiety or sense of shame. Today, Jesus wants to meet us in our heart, our home of prayer. He wants to declutter this heart so that we can welcome Him with much joy and eager anticipation. When we are confused, hurting, angry, and bitter, He can come in to heal us and make us whole again. Let us use that energy, that anger, that passion to good use. Let us be angry for the right reasons in the proper seasons as a sterling beacon of holiness for Him.
Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, take control of my emotions and let not my anger be misplaced so that in all things I may truly glorify you. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.